Okay, so it's the next day, and you know, my mind finally clear. I yes, last night I watched Shin Kamen Rider. I didn't like it, and I'm gonna talk about why. This is like somewhat of a mini small review. I'm gonna to try to keep the spoilers away. So we went, so we went into, so we went into the movie theater, sat down, waited until seven to watch the movie. Then the movie trailer, then the trailer keep repeating, then the trailer keep playing over and over again on repeat. Please forget that. And first off, first issue, the fucking audio at the movie theater was so damn loud that I felt like someone put the freaking music, no not music, the freaking audio a max setting and it was hurting my ears. Not just that, my god, oh god, okay. What the what the fuck's up with that CGI? It was atrociously bad. Like, I don't know, no offense, buddy. No offense. But you want cooking shit for this movie. Ugh. The fucking pacing too though. When when it got to the Wasp Lady, Wasp Og, I think her name was. Yeah. Moo. Hair Moo her name was. I get it. They're trying they'll try to make you feel sorry for Ryu for Riri Riri for her. They're try they're trying to make you feel sorry for her and Riri, but at the same time it didn't work. It didn't work. It didn't work. It didn't work. It just it did not work one bit. Because the beginning of the movie, the CGI because, because the beginning of the movie, the first like the first like the first like half of it was very good. Visual effects were good. The the the, 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 the the well I did say I did say that the audio was annoying because it was on full blast in my local movie theater and it was and that got on my nerves. But the music the fight, the the practical effects, and the non CGI fight scene in the beginning of the movie were really good. I like that. Then when uh when High Tell appear, they rely <sighs> now nah, before High Tell. Then well when uh the Wasp Lady, yeah, here we appear when Ichigo fought her. The CGI just got worse. I mean, worse. Like, for fuck's sake. Okay, spoiler! Do not watch this video. I've not seen Shane Common right there. I'm just gonna. F okay, I'm, I'm just gonna fucking say it. What the fuck's up with the. What the fuck up with the one point of her being so fast like a damn flash? Or reverse flash? I was sitting next to my brother and he did not care. He did not care. He did not, he did not fuck, he did not even care for this movie. I don't blame him, honestly. The whole time I was watching that scene, I was like, why is he, I'm like, what the fuck is he? Like, what, the flash, reverse flash? What the fuck is this? It was hurting my fucking head, dude! And also the subtitles, my god, the subtitle. They were so fucking quick. I the subtitles were so fast. I couldn't finish I couldn't finish read all of them. Like, duh, 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 duh. I'm like hold on, let me finish reading these. Damn! It's so fucking fast, dude. It's like one second you take you, you take your eye on the screen and bam, they're gone. It was annoying. It was annoying. And the <laughs> God. That was annoying. Let's talk about the villains. The villains! The wasp art. The butterfly art. The bat art. The chameleon art. The spider art. And the most wasted pretense of them all, the scorpion art. The spider art was cool in the beginning of the movie. Again, the practical effects it did for him was very good. I like that. 
He was he was menacing and intimidating, and I really enjoyed that. I can't tell you the rest about the others. That that arc was all right, but same time he same time he he didn't he didn't do he didn't do anything for me. Just all put me to sleep. The community arc was cool and all, but then they just raised him. At, they just raised him. He just didn't do nothing except for, oh yeah, let me go kill this girl. Boop, we don't need her, boom, we don't need her anymore because of plot. And, and we really dies. Yep. <sighs> Not just that, it felt like of uh, watching a movie. The movie felt okay, Hawkley put Hawkley put it best. The movie felt like it was trying to be Tokusatsu, but also anime, but also Tokusatsu. Perfect example. When Ichigo and Haiko were fighting, in the beginning it it was it was good it was good choreography. Not CGI, not none of that. Then they start. Then they added. Then the CGI kicked in a dent again, and uh, I didn't like the CGI. And uh, I was my head was hurting, dude. My head was hurting so fucking much from my head was hurting so fucking much, dude, from the CGI. And I was like, what? What am I watching? I thought I was watching Kamen Rider. I thought I was watching Shin Kamen Rider, not Dragon Ball Z. What the fuck is this? Yeah, so I didn't like that. <laughs> no, okay, I'll, I'll, let me keep explaining. The CGI for this movie was atrocious, atrocious for me because I want to point out, want to say that if you like Shane Conroy, that's totally fine. You can like it. For me, my experience watching this movie last night with my family, it wasn't the best. And uh, yeah, the CGI was, oh God, the CGI was atrocious, the CGI was just atrocious. Like, it felt like Anna wanted, it felt like Anna wanted to cram all episodes of original Kamara into this movie. It just didn't work out because this movie and Shin Ultimate have an issue with the pay with 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 thing. Okay, this movie and Shin Ultimate have an issue with both movies want to try be its own like be like want to pay homage to the source material, but also at the same time be its own separate thing. But yeah, it didn't work with that. Wait, don't 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 me, don't, me, don't, me, don't, me, don't get me wrong. I enjoy I enjoy Shin Ultimate, but at the same time. Sorry, oops. <laughs> Sorry about that. But at the same time, it wasn't a perfect movie. Ugh. With Hytopia, it, it was fun. It was fun. It, it was a good movie with Hytopia. I enjoyed Hytopia. His personality, the, the actor did so good that I said to myself, damn, he almost felt like. He almost felt like the original Hyatt for the 1971 TV show, and I love that. When we, when we died, I didn't get emotional. I got somewhat, I can't say angry, I just didn't care. It wasn't that impactful or emotional. If you want something to be a impactful emotional tokusatsu, let's use. Let's use. Camille, let's use Camille's death from Camilla's Camille Camille, what the fucking name? Let's use Camilla's death for Ultimate Trigger, for example. Now I don't like Trigger, but that, but uh, that death scene got me crying. Another perfect example is Comrade Comrade Black Sun. When Cultural died, I got really, how can I say this, emotional about it. That was, and uh. And uh, that and uh, they knew what they were doing. And totally, and Super I knew what they were doing with those. Here, yeah, it just felt like, oh, okay, 
Oh, okay, so this girl, okay, so this girl was basically here for half the movie. She done, she, she served her purpose, now she's dead. And, base, and that's basically what it felt like. Lost Ark was, she was boring. Her scenes were, her, her scenes were really weren't that good. Cause it was just dragging the fucking movie for me. The Scorpion Ark. Oh god, the scorpion dog. Toey! Toey, 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 Toey. Why the fuck can you guys not control your hormones? Let me explain. This character served no, pur no purpose in the movie except for being someone's horny fetish. Because that's what the character was. She was getting horny for killing people. And the way she died, she was making a lot of weird sounds. I'm not gonna say it because it feels on YouTube. I'll let your imagination say that. Cause my fucking god. You wonder what's sad though? The actress that prey the, the Scorpion Og in Shin Kamen Rider is the same actress that played the female protagonist in Shin Ultraman. You wonder, you wonder what both those movies have? They both sexualized the actress. Thanks, Japan! Thanks, Superboy! Thanks, Toei! No, it's stupid. Oh, God. Oh, God. Do I have any, uh, do I have, like, any pros? I do, in fact. The suits! I love, I love how yet these suits felt. I love how yet the, the monster design. The modern suit design for the monsters are pay homage to original source material. Also, also, I got a Kamen Rider vibe from them. <laughs> Ironic, hello. And I like that. I like the suits. I enjoyed the final fight between Haito and Ichigo. Wait, yeah, Haito and Hongo fighting Rider Number Zero. That was pretty cool. Because, well, there was no CGI ruining that scene. That was pretty cool, and the practical effects as well, good stuff. Then, uh, when Rider Zero and Hongo were talking, and, uh, they were in a fight, I don't know what the fuck that scene even was. It felt like, it felt weird, I'll say, and it just didn't sit with me. It just didn't sit with me. <sighs> I enjoyed the ending. I mean, like, no joke. I enjoyed, I enjoyed the ending because I, I said to myself, the ending felt like that it was Common Rider. But the movie didn't feel like Common Rider fully. It felt like I don't wanted to, I don't wanted to, add like, I don't wanted to make it like some type of anime slash Tokusatsu movie. It just didn't work out. And yes, I know there's a behind the scenes issue with this movie. But that, but that doesn't change, that doesn't change how I felt about it. So overall, what's my, what's my, uh, score in the movie? I'll give it a C. It's not bad. It's not the worst. I, I've seen way worse token movies, but fuck, dude. The pacing was atrocious. The pacing was rough. The subtitles were abysmally horrible and too fast for me. I couldn't. I couldn't keep reading them. Uh, the music. That no. The audio at my local movie theater was fucking horrible because the, it was so fucking loud. I couldn't hear myself. Okay, it felt like felt like someone put the damn audio on blast for the whole fucking movie. And the fucking dialogue at time was so annoying. I'm sorry. I just. I just want to watch all. I just wanted the wash off woman here move to shut the fuck up because I was like, shut up, shut up, shut up, stop talking, stop talking, stop talking, because this pacing for your scene is horrible. Stop, stop talking. Ugh. Yeah, I didn't have a fun time watching Comrade. Overall, I'll give it a C. I, I, wish, I wish it could have been better, but uh, it wasn't that good. If I had, if I had to choose three dishes, Shane Ultraman. J 
Jay Ultimate is good, but at the same time, that fucking pacing was boring. And I fell asleep, I fell asleep through the first half of pacing. It got anything in the second half, but uh, yeah. I'll give it a six. I'll give it a six out of ten. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow all my social media description, and I'll follow my Twitch as well. I'll be live streaming this this month, in fact, and we'll be talking about what Toast do. We'll be playing games and we talk about many other stuff. And yeah, thank you all for watching. My name's Aaron. Uh, I'm out.